about to put the serious whip on it. It's Wednesday. It's Wake and Bake Wednesday. Ardra Sinet with Cooking Couture Atlanta, where cooking is sexy. This is Artist Annette with Cooking Couture Atlanta. Hey, honey. Listen, I got to put some stuff together real quick. I'm doing some edibles. <laughs> so, you don't watch me put these together real quick because I done had this sitting out. We're going to put the whip on this. This the real whip. <laughs> We're going to put the whip on this box of Chewy Fudge Brownies. And it was on sale for, I think, a dollar at Kroger. I love it. One dollar. So it ain't no reason. So you can do everything that I'm about to do to these brownies and just not add the can of butter. I am going to add, I'm going to add the cannabis butter and an extra egg. This is how I make my can of butter. I make it with the ghee. Ah. Woo! I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Well, it definitely smells like it has cannabis in it. So, the box asks for two eggs. And I'm going to put in three. I always make sure it's at room temperature. And if, um, if you don't have time to let them sit out and get room temperature, just put the eggs, put the eggs in a bowl of warm water and let them get, and let the, the temperature go down on the eggs. I'm going to put um, pecans in it and put vanilla extract and almond extract. So about a um, tablespoon of each. I really like it because I don't really, I don't really want the brownies to taste like cannabis. I don't want them to taste like, you know, weed. I know they weed brownies, um, but I don't want them to taste like it. And so these brownies will taste good with or without it. These just gonna make you feel better. Now, it asks for one fourth cups of water and I put in a fourth of a cup of milk. Yes, honey. And then it adds for a half a cup of vegetable oil. And so this is my, Oop. so there's no vegetable oil, but it's the, Cannabis infused ghee. Put that on in here. And I'm really scraping this out because I want all of this. Because this is the star of the show. Now, I could make them from scratch, but um, it's a lot of work and time when everybody that's eating these. They don't really care about if they from scratch or not. They just want the effects of the cannabis, for real. All right, so I had a little of the tincture left in the, I'm gonna throw this in here too. It was just a little bit, but that's supposed to be 1000% stronger. So we're gonna see. This is a non-stick um, eight inch pan. But I put, I put the, um, all right. If we're gonna mix it up, then I'm gonna um, crush up these pecans, fold them in, so I'm gonna have You know what? 
you really could, I thought about putting some cream cheese in, but since, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do another one. And I'll do the cream cheese in that instead of nuts. But nuts and cream cheese, Nuts, cream cheese, and cannabis. That's an expensive brownie now. <laughs> You're making that twenty dollars a brownie. I prefer doing this with my chef knife, but cut up these nuts. I already preheated the oven to three fifty. Okay, so. I cut up those, mm. cut up those pecans. This is how edibles are supposed to be. You're supposed to enjoy it, no stress. You gotta do too much. You know, peppermint tastes good in them too. That really helps mask the um, peppermint extract. I use some vanilla and some almond extract. If you use peppermint extract, and some vanilla, that's good also. Mm. Okay, so when it comes out, I'm gonna sprinkle a little powdered sugar on top. Cut them in nice bite-sized chunks. And we're gonna have a really nice, tasty dessert. It makes you happy. There you go, super simple. The hard part, hardest part is getting the can of butter. No bowl looking here. These turned out delicious, ooey gooey, chewy, and potent. <laughs> you can't really taste the um, cannabis because I masked it with other stuff. Ooh, like, subscribe, and share. Let's make it happen.